What's up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for sitting? I mean, come on, sitting. The great leveler. Who, from the mightiest pharaoh to the lowliest peasant, doesn't enjoy a good sit? You, you just make everything weird, don't you? Whether you have a game room or just a gaming space, there are a few things that you will need, such as... Games! And, of course... A TV to play them on. And even more so, you're going to need some comfort. Like the Foldable Gaming Chair Company. Francois of the Foldable Gaming Chair Company reached out to us and, full transparency, while he did hook us up with a chair, this is 100% our review of it what could possibly be the use of a foldable gaming chair. If you go to the website, Francois explains that he's a husband and a father, and I'm sure we can all feel that sometimes gaming time can be a little bit limited. And whenever you want to game, you've really got to make that count. The other issue is space. Let's say that maybe I'm not in the game room and I want to play a game on the living room TV. But, uh, you know, the TV's all the way over there. So what's my option? Move a chair. Right. Because that's exactly how I want to spend my game time, moving furniture around. Well, then just get a game chair. Okay. Good idea, except I'm not going to lie. I'm actually not the biggest fan of gaming chairs because, first of all, they're huge and bulky and it's totally in the way. So, again, moving furniture. But also, I really don't find them to be all that comfortable. Then just sit on the floor. Oh, one of those floor gaming chairs, like the little weeble wobble looking thing. Yeah, uh, I'm going to circle back to that whole comfort thing again. And I'm old, so trying to get up, forget it. Because of issues like this and that space concern, that is why Francois went on his quest to build a cozy gaming chair that's easy to store and perfect for console gamers. Well, here is the box that it came in. This is pretty large box. <laughs> so we're going to see just how compact this thing is. <laughs> There's a note right on top. I love this. We love notes. Dear Tom and Lacey, a huge thank you for helping me with the launch of my chair and sharing it with your audience. I am incredibly grateful to be working with you and appreciate your support for a product that I created with passion. I hope it will bring you a lot of pleasure and comfort for your next gaming sessions and events. Cheers, Francois. See, already I'm looking forward to this because the whole idea of a portable chair, yes. we've, we've got some thoughts on that coming soon. Well, I can already tell you, I already like the outer packaging of it because I absolutely love black and purple together. So this fun, like, tiley pattern on here, loving that. And I absolutely love this handle. Makes it a lot easier to move it around inside the bag. How heavy is it? Uh, for me, this is not bad at all. This is no different than a good heavy-duty camping chair nice. that we've had before. Uh, how about you try the heft of it? Actually, yeah, it's not that bad. It looks a lot heavier than, than it is. So, yeah, nice. <laughs> it looks like a big heavy-duty camping chair. First impressions, this looks like kind of a, an oversized camping chair you know, for most. Uh, a guy my size, though, this is probably going to be perfect for me. I'm perfectly fine with this gray color scheme. I mean, I, I like kind of the more muted colors and everything. And I'm really digging the pockets. Obviously, my eye immediately went to those. You have your standard cup can holder one over here on the left side. But then on the right side is this big rectangular spot. And I think that you could put anything in there from, uh, you know, maybe like a bag of snacks, if you got some chips or something, or like your controller, maybe your phone, toss that in there. That way you're not sitting on it and you have it right there beside you. I think it also could work for like a switch light or even your switch. If you're playing it in handheld mode and you need to set it down so it's not going to like fall off of your lap or something. The fabric also feels like just a typical camping chair, but the texture and look of it looks like a nice upholstered chair in your living room so it kind of blends in really well it doesn't lo obviously look like a camping chair on each end there are two different type of holders 
on one side you've got where you could hang your headphones off of it on the other side it's like this like circle thing so you could probably maybe put your cord for a corded controller through there so the cord stays out of the way or a wine glass you could put a wine glass there the stem goes through it all right so i did a little hand kneading it's a trick that paul mustachio the cat showed me and the fabric it's a real heavy duty durable fabric so i mean i think this is something that's going to last a long time and it also seems like it would be something really easy to clean mm -hmm. while pushing on it this feels like it's got a ton of cushioning in it so this is not like your canvas and netting campside chair this thing is going to be something that you're not going to have a problem putting like a gaming marathon in and feeling uncomfortable like you would with a camping chair it doesn't feel like it's going to poke into your legs and it just feels really soft oh wow that is really nice when you sit in and it kind of molds to you and you you really can feel the cushion all the way around that is really comfortable now i'm short so the the back of it hits me right at the back of the neck head so it's kind of comfortable for me if you're a little taller it might not be so comfortable to lay your head back but that's really it's really comfortable i like it it's not too tall either my feet still touch the ground oh yeah yeah when you look at it you're really thinking like camping chair so i'm expecting that kind of you know lack of comfort but no, I mean, this, yeah, it really does cradle you well. I mean, I mean, it just feels good. The armrests are a good, good height. When I was looking at you sitting in it, I wondered if I would be missing any kind of headrest. I don't feel like I am. That might be a more personal preference. I don't generally use a lot of headrests, so maybe someone else would. Something else, up here in the front, I can kind of feel the bar, the support bar, but it's nowhere near as bad as like a typical camping chair. The, the camping chairs, they can almost kind of cut into your leg. In fact, as I'm sitting up like this, I'm really not feeling it as bad as you would. Yeah, with like a camp chair, you basically have to lounge back to not have that weight on the front. But this, even when you come forward, yeah, this, this is not bad at all. This is really nice. Obviously, we keep making a lot of comparisons of this chair versus a camping chair, ideally because of the portability and the look of it and everything. But let's really break down and take a look at the differences between the two. So the first thing that really comes to my mind is that padding. Whereas camping chairs, if you try to sit in them for a long time, like if you're kicking back some beers or something, you're probably not going to notice. But if you're just hanging out and trying to play some games, you are not going to be comfortable because camp chairs, I'm sorry, they just don't have padding. No, this one definitely has padding everywhere. Kind of like what you said, even when you're sitting more forward in that gamer stance, there's padding up there. So you're not going to feel those bars right up front, which is my biggest complaint about camping chairs. They always dig into my thighs. Nowadays, something that comes with gaming sessions are usually accessories. You know, uh, it's nice to have like your drink or snacks or whatever. But as we were saying before, sometimes you got headphones, sometimes you got a, a different controller or a spare controller nearby. And camp chairs, if you're lucky, you might have a phone that may fit in one of those cup holders. So camping chairs, you better have like something nearby to hold all of your accessories. And again, unlike a camping chair, this one seems to come with especially an extra large cup holder on the side, if you want to call it that, or controller holder. Hold your headphones. It's got all the extra accessories, including that ever important cup holder. When it comes to camp chairs, how many times have you had to replace one? It's not like we're always losing them. More <laughs> often than not, they're kind of like breaking down. Something breaks on them. Uh, I've had it happen many, many times. And I am a bigger guy, so, you know, a camp chair, it usually doesn't last long around me. No, the nice thing about this foldable gaming chair is that it supports up to 350 pounds. It is designed to be sturdy and durable. One minor issue are these pieces on the side for the headphone rack, the wine glass holder. Those kind of stick out just a little bit. I could see that uh, maybe someone would get caught on them. 
I wonder if it would be possible for future iterations of the chair to have them maybe fold down and then come up in a locking position. So I had no idea what this chair looked like. I never got on the website to take a peek because I wanted to, to be a nice surprise. I had no idea if it was going to be some assembly required. Literally, you open the box, pull the bag out, pull it out of the bag, and boom, your chair is set up. No assembly required, which is really nice. No tools required, nothing. Now, when you go over to that website and start shopping around, don't let the price point scare you away. It may seem like a hefty number, but consider a few things. First of all, you are getting quality. The type of fabric that's in use here and the amount of padding, that cushioning is really going to serve you much better than some run-of-the-mill store camping chair. If you're putting in a serious game session, you're not sitting down for 10 or 20 minutes. You're probably going to put a few hours in there and you're going to want that cushion. If you compare this chair to glamping, you're going to spend a good amount of money on good quality things like a camping chair or a gaming chair. If you want high quality, you're going to pay a little bit more for it. So this is not your run of a mill Walmart camp chair. And of course, you want to consider that portability. Think of the money that you're going to invest into a true form gaming chair, but that office style thing isn't rolling into a hotel room very easily. This, however, sling it over your shoulder, you're good to go. Looking at the website, I didn't quite see if it comes in other colors as of yet. That may be something coming down in the line. My only, I would say, critique about the whole presentation of the chair or packaging and whatnot is I prefer some kind of instruction. Some of the things on the front, we weren't quite sure when we first looked at it what it might be for. Maybe some kind of instructions or informational packet, like to let you know what the weight limit is or the type of material, how to clean the material possibly. On the thought of putting in some kind of literature for how to take care of the chair or, you know, kind of the specs, like the weight limit and everything, maybe you could uh, sew in a little QR code on the back or something and quick access to the website. That would actually be perfect because right there on the front is there a tag for it with their logo. On the back, pop that QR code on there. Something I'm really thrilled about though is we go to a lot of conventions and events. Yes. And we get to hang out with a lot of other gamers especially. So I am super excited to take this with us yes. and get some more thoughts from other people and see what they think of it too. How many times have we gone and hung out in other uh, YouTubers or gamers rooms and everyone is piled on the bed? Mm -hmm. Because hotel rooms give you maybe a chair if yeah. you're lucky. So it's very uncomfortable sitting in a hotel room trying to play games we've got a gaming chair we can take with us now. So one last time, Francois of the Foldable Gaming Chair Company did hook us up with this chair. Thank you so much. We are already loving how it looks, how it feels. I mean, it's a very, very comfortable chair. I don't think anyone's gonna be tearing this thing up anytime soon. And I'm so excited to have some more people try it out. So thank you so much. Links in the description below, of course, to check out the website. And if you happen to try out the Foldable Gaming Chair, let us know what you think. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, nerdlings. And if we like it, we nerd it and sit on it. Hey! <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. One last test. What do you think? not even a real gamer cat. I've never once seen him play games. He doesn't care. There's a chair in there. Yeah. The Foldable Gaming Chair Company. Ice man! I'm a weeble wobble, but I fall down. <laughs>